Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues a royal decree. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Sayyid reviews investment opportunities between the Sultanate and Uzbekistan with His Excellency the Minister of External Economic Relations and Investments in Uzbekistan. The Oman-Uzbekistan Joint Committee discusses developing intra-trade with Uzbekistan and enhancing investment activities. And the Omani Hajj Mission continues to provide services for pilgrims. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has issued Royal Decree No. 55 over 2014 assigning public utility status to the National Museum's parking lots project in Governorate of Muscat. Article 1 declares the project to establish parking lots for the National Museum in the Governorate of Muscat as, spe as specified in the memo and diagram attached to the decree as a public utility project. Article 2 states that concerned bodies shall expropriate through direct implementation the properties and lands necessary for the aforementioned project, along with all establishments therein, in accordance with provisions of the public utility expropriation law. Article 3. This decree shall be published in the official gazette and shall come into effect from the date of issue. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Josh Mario Vaz of Guinea-Bissau on his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty the Sultan received a cable of thanks from His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al-Ahmed Al-Jabr al sabah Emir of the State of Kuwait, in reply to His Majesty's cable of condolences on the death of Sheikh Mubarak Hamoud Al-Sabah Al-Salman Al-Sabah. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, received at his office today His Excellency Aliyar Ganev, Minister of External Economic Relations, Investments and Trade in Uzbekistan, Chairman of the Uzbek side at Oman is Uzbekistan Joint Committee for Economic, Commercial and Investment Cooperation. He conveyed the greetings of His Excellency President Islam Karimov of Uzbekistan to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos and his best wishes to His Majesty and the government of continued success and Omani people for the progress and prosperity. He also conveyed thanks and gratitude of His Excellency and the government of His Majesty for the support provided by the Sultanate to rebuild Al Beruni Library in Tashkent, which affirmed His Majesty's continued care for science and scientific and preserving heritage from ruining. His Excellency also held the exhibition organized by the Sultanate in Uzbekistan, which gave a great impression to the Uzbek people about the Sultan's historical and cultural features. From his side, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said praised relations linking the two friendly countries and stressed the significance to enhance them in various fields. His Highness also affirmed that His Majesty the Sultan accords great attention to the relations between the two countries, pointing out that Oman Uzbekistan Joint Committee and Businessmen's Council have a role in pushing forward this cooperation as to realize aspirations for both people. The talk during the meeting dealt with ways to enhance investment opportunities and activation of signed agreements between the two countries and in addition to International Transport and Transit Corridor Agreement, Ashkabad Agreement due to services it will provide to member countries. A number of issues of common concern were also discussed. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Saidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and His Excellency Mohammed bin Saeed al-Lawati, Sultan's accredited ambassador to Uzbekistan. 
His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamid bin Hamoud al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said that the Sultanate is looking forward to developing inter trade with Uzbekistan and enhancing investment activities as the Sultan enjoys attractive and safe economic atmosphere for investment and open for cooperation and partnership. Chairing the Sultan's delegation in the meeting of Oman Uzbekistan Joint Committee, which was chaired from Uzbek side by His Excellency Aliyar Ganev, Minister of External Economic Relations, Investments and Trade in Uzbekistan. His Excellency, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, added that transport sector represents a significant economic pillar for fruitful cooperation between the two countries during the upcoming period, especially within the context of signing Ashgabat Agreement and its future activation through the International Corridor for Transport and Transit among member states, which will be the cornerstone of this cooperation in addition to approving air services agreements and signing its government protocol. His Excellency also valued the progress of Abu Rihan al Baryuni Library Project in Tashkent. The two sides discussed the development joint economic, commercial and investment work, such as cooperation in the fields of oil, petrochemicals, industries, constructions, agriculture, irrigation, food, tourism, financial and banking sectors, transport, air and land shipping. They also dealt with necessary efforts to follow up for the implementation of a number of joint investment projects and encourage commercial exchange and increase its volume. The committee also discussed existing cooperation in the cultural and scientific fields and ways of benefiting from technical and scientific expertise between the two sides in various sectors. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and His Excellency Aliyar Ganev, Minister of External Economic Relations, Investment and Trade in Uzbekistan, signed the minutes of the second round meeting of Oman Uzbekistan Joint Committee for Economic Cooperation. The two sides stressed at the end of the meeting, the significance of continued speeding up bilateral work to strengthen the relations and they agreed to activate Oman-Uzbekistan partnership so as to reach joint close cooperation in various fields and sectors. The two sides called to intensify existing efforts to compete draft agreements and memorandum of understanding that organizes bilateral relations. The two sides expressed their, satisf that their satisfaction to the outcome of the second meeting of Oman Uzbek Joint Work Team on the construction project of a new building for Abu Rihan Al Baryuni Institute in Uzbekistan and agreed to convene the third round of the committee meeting in Uzbekistan capital Tashkent next year. With the aim of collecting and documenting valuable cultural heritage in addition to provide their vision to heritage future and to provide the current generation and preserve it for future, a specialized committee was inaugurated to preserve non-material cultural heritage. The inauguration of the committee held at the Oman Society for Writers and Laboratories premises in order to contribute it through this committee in the process of collecting and preserving this non-material cultural heritage. A number of important topics were raised during the discussion session, namely the mechanism of utilizing modern technology to preserve this heritage. The Omani Hajj or pilgrimage mission continues to provide services for pilgrims where the first group of the mission left for Mecca. The mission's aim is to prepare its premises open for medical clinic and other activities to serve the pilgrims. Meanwhile, the IFTA delegation continued awareness lectures related to Hajj season as well as to train mission members. The group also included the scout delegation that will prepare the place for mission in Mecca and the Omani pilgrims camps in the sacred places in Mina and Arafah once received from respective authorities. Still to come in our news bulletin. The organizers of a Roya Award for Youth Initiatives visit various governorates of the Sultanate.
Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. His Excellency Dr. Hamoud bin Khalfan Al Harthi, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Education for Education and Curricula, stated that some projects related to curricular development will be announced in the education seminar, which will be held next month. He added that the first stage of comprehensive curricular development finished, and currently they are working on the second stage. Developing environmental awareness for society members in, is the importance of environment preservation was the aim of the second environmental forum which was organized by the Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs. It aimed to get acquainted with the environment concept, the difficulties faced environmental education and educational institutions, enhancing the role of scientific researchers and projects and cooperation among specialized bodies. The two-day forum discussed a number of work papers, namely environmental education skills, informing mangroves, environmental educational strategy at schools and environmental empowerment for people with disabilities. Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith al Nabhani, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces, received today Major General Anwar Jassim al Mazidi, Head of the Military Education Authority in Kuwait, and the delegation accompanying him on the visit to Oman. During the meeting, the two sides exchanged viewpoints on a set of issues of mutual concern. To get acquainted with the Sultan Qaboos Naval Academy and what it contains from training centers, scientific and artist laboratories, military education and sports facilities were within the visit of Major General Anwar Jassim al-Mazidi, head of the Military Education Authority in Kuwait and his military delegation. It also included to get acquainted with academic centers and departments. With the aim to attract the Italian companies to invest in special economic zone at Docum CZ and produce the Italian companies to the investment climate in the Sultanate, the CZ organized in the Italian capital Rome the promotion campaign Ducum invites you to get benefit of the Italian experiences in various fields. It came within the authorities' efforts to diversify the investment at the zone and increase foreign investment in the Sultanate. During the campaign, His Excellency Yahya bin Saeed bin Abdullah Al Jabri, Chairman of Board of Directors of CZAD, discussed with the Italian officials developing the bilateral relations between Italy and Sultanate, as well as developing economic, commercial, and investment fields between the two countries. Activities of the second edition of Oman Competitive Forum will start on the 29th of October in Muscat, which will be organized by the Public Authority for Investment Promotion and Export Development. During the press conference, the authority announced that 20 local and international representatives from public and private sector will participate in this forum which will include discussion session of four interactive topics with the participation of officials from the two side sectors. The forum aims to meet the needs of current and future societies. It came within the framework of developing an investment climate in the Sultanate and enhancing the competitive advantages for Omani economy during the next period.
This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues a royal decree. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Sayyid reviews investment opportunities between the Sultanate and Uzbekistan and His Excellency the Minister of External Economic Relations and Investment in Uzbekistan. The Oman-Uzbekistan Joint Committee discusses development, intra-trade with Uzbekistan and enhancing investment activities. And the Omani Hajj Mission continues to provide services for pilgrims. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night.